Hello everyone, it's Friday, May 18th, and we're going to look at our tomato plants today. If you've noticed that we have some tomato plants that are missing, that's because they were removed and have been replaced by these shishito peppers and zebrun onions. It turned out that the plant that we had, um, they're not Roma tomatoes, they actually got pretty tall and they're starting to become a problem in terms of uh, blocking out the air from the plants that we have in the back and also the shape of the tomatoes they didn't look like Roma so they've been removed. We have various um, tomato varieties growing in this bed in a single stem form and we have them woven and supported by the trellis. Once they get to the top of the trellis they're going to be climbing and, and get supported by the twine. So, so our first variety here is a sun sweet, um, sun cherry extra sweet hybrid tomato and then next to it is a black banner sage tomato it's got a variegated look to it and it looks like this is a this type of tomato is a trending tomato lots of folks are growing them for the really neat colors and other things so it's um producing quite a few let's uh look at the back here at this sun cherry it's it's pretty neat how how many tomatoes they produce on one uh, cluster. So that's going to be really interesting to see grow. So continuing on, we have our Cherokee Purple that's making blossoms now. And then next to the Cherokee Purple we have the uh, Golden Jubilee. And it, it too is making blossoms. And next to it is a copia tomato and sometimes the copia or sometimes tomatoes in general they they fork out and make two really strong stems and you can really decide whether you want to have it grow two main stems or not it look like it looks like we have space to support to the growth of two primary stems so we're gonna do that and see how that grows in this bed we have our tomatoes that we're training on these four foot garden stakes and once the tomatoes get to the top we'll tie it a twine and attach it to the eaves. So this one is the Kellogg's breakfast. It's making blossoms. Next to it is a Druzba and we can see a tomato that's forming right there. Next to the Druzba is an heirloom sweet tomato. This is the Weissbeerheart. And I thought I saw a Weissbeerheart tomato on this plant somewhere. Oh there it is. So it's back there. Very excited to try this. And then next to it is a hybrid sweet cherry tomato. This is the Sun Gold. This is one that's very popular. And also looking forward to trying that one out. We have more tomatoes growing in the rest of our garden over here. Like the ones in here. These are Roma tomatoes. So they're starting to form. Um, the other ones that are here are Roma tomatoes and it looks like they're starting to turn light green so that means they're, they're starting to ripen and they're probably not going to get any larger than this. This was an experiment to see how early in the year we can sow tomatoes. I think these were sowed at the beginning of March. So we're probably not going to do that. It's probably too cold. We'll do cherry tomatoes instead. But nonetheless, since these are paste tomatoes, uh, the size really doesn't matter. You can harvest them and turn them into tomato paste and pasta sauce and such. Down this way we have our San Marzano and they're being trained on six foot garden stakes. You can see I thought I spotted a tomato right there. So it's pretty looks like a very neat paste tomato. Looks like it's gonna be really big so I'm excited to taste this one and try it out as well. Um, and then in the greenhouse we have another tomato that we're just growing in there to see how we do in the greenhouse and that's the hybrid um, is it sun cherry and it's starting to turn color so we'll probably be taste testing this sun cherry extra sweet uh, tomato that's growing in the greenhouse first we have another tomato that's growing out in the porch garden it's a green zebra we're not gonna look at it today we'll look at it once it starts fruiting 
but uh, as far as an update on our tomatoes, that's how they're doing as of today. And uh, it's an overcast day. It's warm. It's nice out. And we're excited about the rest of the growing year and looking forward to seeing what else is up and coming. So thanks for coming and visiting, and we'll catch you in the next video. You might need to use two hands, Owen. Pull it from the bottom, close to the ground. There. Whoa, look at that. Okay, let's pull some more. What's the what? This one? Yep. Whoa. It's a good one. Okay. You want to get back up? <laughs> Don't pull with all your strength, Owen. You guys go slowly and torque it out. Huh? Yeah, grab it very, very, very bottom. Step over there. Step over there. All right. Okay. Yep. Pull. Do you need help? Here, let's, yeah. let's do it together. Let's do it together. Ready, go. Whoa. That's a big one. That's another big one. Okay. Go. Pull it? Yep. This one? Yep. Pull it out. Whoa. Okay, Owen. 